Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will understand the modeling of a water tank structure in the analytical modeler mode of StatPro. So StatPro has two modes available for creating a structure and assigning different properties, specifications, loads, creating load combinations, and so on. So the two modes are a physical modular mode and an analytical modular mode. In a physical modular mode, we can create the model by using the physical members. That is, create a model in such a way as it is physically constructed on site. Whereas in the analytical modular mode, a structure is modeled by starting to create nodes which in turn are connected with each other either by the linear members that is beams or columns or by plate elements that is the finite element modeling. So these are the two modes for creating a model and just going ahead with the other workflow. Now in both these modes creating the structure geometry, assigning the section properties, and different specifications, application of the loads, and creating the load combinations, further giving the analysis commands. These four steps are common in both the modes, whereas the perform analysis gets performed only in the analytical modeler mode. So in this video today, we will understand the method of creating a water tank model in the analytical modeler mode if you want to understand how the same can be done in the physical modeler mode then you can visit our Pentley structural youtube channel and just go through the training video that is available on the uh, modeling tank structures and stat pro physical modeler okay so that has on, already been covered so we will just understand the workflow in the analytical modeler. And once our model is ready with the performance of the analysis, we will just check a simple workflow of how we can send it forward for designing in RCDC. And therein from RCDC, it gets completely designed. And a separate video for understanding the complete workflow of a water tank design in RCDC. A separate video uh, is available on another section under the STAD Advanced Concrete Design. So uh, let us go ahead and understand the workflow further. So to start with the workflow, we have to first create the geometry of the model. So we create the nodes create the model the tank slabs, the tank plates, assign the thickness and the support. Then we go ahead for applying the loads and creating the load combinations. We will also check in which different loads can be applied to the tank and in what format like a trapezoidal or an increasing format of the load or the plate loads. And we will just check in the workflow of designing the analyzed tank model into RCDC. And from there, we can get the design reports, the entire design, the drawings, the quantity, and the bar bending schedule. So bar bending schedule are generally the uh, fabrication detailed drawings for the concrete structures. So let us get into the actual demonstration. Before going to the STAD environment, uh, we will quickly have a glimpse at what will be our tank look like. So we will create a model of a combination of two tanks. So this one is the bigger tank of dimension 12 meter by 8 meter. And this is a smaller tank, which is combined i mean to say that it ha this wall is a common wall between both of these tanks and this tank will be an open tank which will stop at a height of say 4.5 meters 
whereas this tank will continue up to 7 meters with an enclosed top slab. So let us go ahead for creating this module in the STAT analytical modular mode. The goal of this video is to demonstrate the procedure to create the model of a water tank using the analytical modeling mode of STAT. It involves creating finite element meshes of the tank walls, mat and roof slabs. Demonstrating the overall procedure was given a greater importance than the accuracy of modeling it. And hence there may be instances where user may notice some or bad modeling such as improperly connected plate elements. The author of this video apologizes for these errors, but viewers ought to see that as an opportunity to improve their own model creation skills. Whenever possible, those errors have been highlighted in the video to make the viewer aware of the existence of such type of the errors.